today's video, we're going to show you how to change front brake pads on a 98 to 2003 Yamaha R1. First, take these 12 millimeter bolts out and carefully pull out your caliper and make sure you do not scratch your rim. As you can see, these brake pads are pretty shot, so I'm pretty glad that we're replacing these now just before it ended up scratching up the disc. You do have to push the pistons back in. You can do that by either putting a screwdriver or something in the middle to press it back into each side, or you could push it against the disc while the caliper is still on. But I'm gonna put something in between it and just push the pistons back. I stuck a big flathead screwdriver in here just to start separating these. And then when I was able to get my fingers in, I pushed them in by hand as much as possible. To get these brake pads out, there is two powder pins right in the center here. If you can see that little nub sticking out and on the other side as well. You may have to get a screwdriver just to move the, it around and then you can get your needle nose and pull it out. Same with the other one. The pads are gonna fall out. This rod just pushes either in or out and then you have this whole thing that holds it in place. So just be wary of that. Let's start turning this around and then I'll start pulling out the cotter pins. Now that we got both cotter pins facing towards us, we can pull them out. There's one. And there's two. Put this down. Now, this little center part, like I said, going to push either way in or out. I'm just going to push it this way for now. And when this comes all the way out, the pads will fall and so will this. So I'm going to try to hold on to everything. You may have to get something to push it through. As you can see, this bracket is coming out now. There's that. So this will just literally go right back in there. Pads are coming out. There's one. Ooh, look at these things. Look at how bad they were. And the second one, there it is. So here's the old brake pads. There is a little like metal push plate, if you want to call it, that goes on the back of the actual new brake pads, so make sure you transfer these onto here, and then we'll get back to the caliper. Now basically, you'll just get the other pads, push them through, put your cotter pins back in. When you have the bracket, this one, you have to push through the center of there. You can see how it has that hole, right? That's the, the, uh, the rod goes through that center. You gotta all line it up. So let me get the pads, and we'll start putting them in. So I'm going to get this one with the pad facing like this. Obviously it's going to go towards this side. I'm going to get it onto that loop. Let's see if I can start this one. There's one. I have to get the other pad ready. So I'm going to get that just like so. Push it right up in there. And then we got to get our bracket. So this just kind of sits on top. As you can see, there's the two points right there on the top. That has to go against each part. And you may have to go up or down to these two, like so. And let's just make this go through. All right, so now, since I got this through, 
everything's installed except I got to get those cotter pins back in there and the reason why you push these pistons back is because you got to have as much space as possible as you put the new brake pads to let it sit on the disc so we're gonna it's hard to see but there's a hole right there and obviously there's gonna be one on the other side so I'm gonna push this in just a tad bit more just so that I can see the other hole I can see both holes now Maybe hard to see on video. And then basically you gotta put the cotter pin back in of where it came out of. started to get the cotter pin in and I'm going to push it by hand all right that's basically seated I'll get my second one and it's a good idea to line up the holes when you're putting the rod through make sure you can see the holes where they are before you start it so you have a better idea where it is, otherwise you'll have to turn it around, possibly take it out again to move it. So we'll just slip into there like so. Okay, so those two are in. Now technically I could just leave it like that, but the way it was before, I'm gonna just move these things into the inside over here just so that they're kind of out of the way and don't hit on anything. But yeah, pretty easy. So let me move these to the inside over here. Just by simply doing something like this, you rotate it. Rotate it out. All right, there we go. Now we have the two little ends sticking out like we did before when we first saw the caliper. So that should be good. Make sure your pads are nice and pushed out. We'll push this back onto the bike and get that mounted on there. Next, carefully put the caliper back on, make sure the pads are spread so that they don't end up going on the wrong side of the disc. So this will just go back into here. Be careful of your rim. We spread out the pads so they have an easily assembly of putting it back onto the rotor. In this case, with my steel braided lines a little bit longer. So I gotta just push this up to get it back into place of where it needs to be. And then just take your two bolts, start threading them up. Pull this some more. It will catch. I always do them by hand. Just in case the threads are compromised, you'll find out. After you confirm that the pads are in the right spot, make sure you torque these two caliper mounting bolts to 40 newton meters or 30 foot pounds. All right, so since this side is all set, everything is torqued to spec. We verified that we have one brake pad on that side and the other and it's installed correctly. I'm gonna shoot over to the other side 
and just kind of burn through it quick. It's the same exact process that you did on the clutch lever side. So it doesn't matter which one you start at, but just make sure you don't miss any steps. So this side is all buttoned up. Now just go to your brake lever and start pressing that a bunch of times. And we'll end up pushing the pads back into the disc and we'll make the pistons go out. You have to press it a bunch of times and then you will get pressure on there. And you are all set. If this video was helpful, guys, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.